Hey, it's Britton here from Days of Our Sims, and uh, yeah, we are, I'm in Houston right now, so I'm going to be heading to Fort Lauderdale, uh, I'm going to be watching OU Texas down there, so, uh, yeah, not really much going on over here, I'm at my regular flight area, it's the first time I've flown by myself, so that was pretty crazy, I was going to record out in Oklahoma City, but I forgot, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys can hear me well. Um, not really much else to say, so till next time. Well, I'm about to head to Florida. Wish me luck, guys. Well, I made it to Florida. I'm in Fort Lauderdale now. I'm gonna keep this a little brief. Uh, I'm glad I made it, to be honest with you guys. Well, not that I wasn't not being honest earlier. Anyway. Uh, I'm glad I'm in Florida. Uh, hoping we have a good time. It's gonna be a fun weekend, I imagine. <laughs> uh, man, I'm tired. Probably gonna go to bed in a little bit, so. Anyway, in Florida. Well, before I, uh, before we get into this, um, I, I should note, I made a little bet with Ryan. Now, don't worry, Dad. There wasn't any money involved. Uh, uncle, <laughs> uncle Ryan, who's my uncle, his brother. We talk about OU sports frequently. Um, I hate to say it, Dad, but he was right. OU got shellacked because he was all like, "We're gonna get shellacked. We're gonna get killed by Texas," is what he said. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, another um, another big loss against Texas. That's that's kind of sad after last year. I, I had such hope. Anyway. Um, if you don't mind me ranting for a little bit. Well, can you go into the intro first? Well, okay, fine. Uh, this is another episode of Days of As Soon As Till the, uh, post-vacation version where me and Dad talk about the never-ending soap opera that is Oklahoma Sooners football, and it's becoming increasingly the protracted agony of being... An Oklahoma Sooners football fan. Uh, I am your host, Britton. I'm here with my dad, or I'm here with my co-host. He's also my dad, Todd. How you doing, Dad? I'm doing good. Doing good. A little, uh, little tired from that long vacation and uh, a little sore on the backside from that Texas butt kicking that uh, that they, <laughs> they handed out to us there. So, yeah, you know, it's what can I say? You have something to say, or? I have a couple things. Okay, go for One, it. I was right. It wasn't just Jackson Arnold's fault. That's this whole true. offense That's is completely inept. Yeah, the whole offense is just a, a nightmare. Um, so uh, there were some people on Twitter saying it, and I seconded it. I, I think OU fans owe Jackson Arnold an apology mm -hmm. for some of it. Now, to be fair, some of it was his fault. Before I get comments about, mm -hmm. oh, he fumbled a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. He fumbled. He, uh... He's kind of... He, he did make mistakes. I am not saying he is a victim of circumstance completely. Mm -hmm. But, God, you have that offensive line that's just so great and bad scheming, like... It's pitiful. What has he got to work with? Nothing. So I'm Jackson. just saying, some of it's his fault, but not all of it. May I say something to Jackson? Yeah, feel free. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very, and, very, very sorry. We are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. And um, poor Michael Hawkins. I mean, look, I'm not. I'm not saying this to dunk on Michael Hawkins. You know, I want the kid to succeed. Right. You know, I'm an OU fan. I want. I don't want my team to not succeed, mm -hmm. but again, bad scheming, just just bad everything. This offense, mm -hmm. I, I I hate to say it, Dad. You might you might you might be shocked. Might have been a little too hasty to let go of Je Jeff Levy. You might snicker at that. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, I mean, at, at least he was a competent OC. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He. I mean. Yeah. He's. Dare I say a good OC? I mean, I, I look. I had problems with the guy, and you can you can go back, and I'll admit I'm I may I may need to pay receipts at the guy, and I'm like yeah well in Latrell 
And the crew actually called an okay game for Arizona. Like, you know what? I don't really oh, think... Oh, for the Arizona the, game? The, the, yeah. The, the bowl game. I thought, oh, that was yeah, a, yeah. I thought that game was mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. We lost, but I'm like, okay, we can build on that a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jackson threw for 350 yards that game. Where's that guy? Where's that offense? Well, bad offensive line. And Is it the line? Yeah. The, yeah. the scheming mm-hmm. and our wide receiver. We're just cursed this year, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, now, there are some people who are saying that we may not even win a game for the rest of the season, which I just think is ridiculous. I remember, if you recall, if you recall, Dad, two years ago... Oh, sorry, my cat knocked over my mouse. Kitty. Anyway, if you recall, people were saying that about 49 and nothing. And what happened? We well, won some games. We won some games. And we got in the ball Now, games. we... Mm-hmm. It was 6-7. to seven. I'm not saying we should go around and dance in the streets. Six to seven record. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, I'm not saying we should dance in the streets mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. But. That was we, in the Big 12, wasn't it? That was in the Big 12. Okay, this is not the Big 12. That's true. <laughs> um, This is true. Um, Though I do think some of these teams are still beatable. We, uh, mm-hmm. our, our offense just, well, one, needs to score. Because three points is just, oh my gosh. This this is this is pitiful. This is a great defense. This you know, great maybe it's too strong. It's a very serviceable, good, strong, solid defense that has no counterpart. It's just like the op. It's like we've. It, it's basically opposite Lincoln Riley, where right. he was just you know, the, the offense was, was just screwing. The offense was just banging, and then the defense just laid an egg. Well, we did have some good players mm-hmm. on defense, luckily, mm-hmm. so it wasn't a complete disaster. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, just, uh, you know. Now, I don't think we're not going to win a game for the rest of the year. Please. We are playing Maine. If we that, don't win Maine, so that's five wins, but who's going to be the sixth win? Is it this week against South Carolina? We'll get into that. I, I have no idea. Can we beat Missouri? They look beatable, but can we beat them? I don't uh, know. Yeah. I'm not seeing um, us being in Alabama. I'm not seeing. I don't us. know. Hey, they lost to Vanderbilt, and they also lost to or no, they did struggle against South Carolina. They are beatable, but yes, this offense is um, not really. Uh, it, it, I mean, there was someone. I, I maybe it was on, maybe it was on Twitter or somewhere. But it's like it's been six weeks, and we still haven't seen an offense gain a rhythm. This might be the worst offensive showing I've seen. And look, I griped a bit about Jeff Lebby last season. But again, guy could call a good game. I mean, OU Texas last year, good game. Very mm-hmm. little problems I had. Mm-hmm. I mean, he would sometimes do cute plays, like try to throw it on the you know five yards and you throw it at the three. That was really annoying. Mm-hmm. But he can call a game. He has some ex- or He had experience. <clears throat> Latrell... I mean, Ryan was telling me that he was a frat boy, and well, sometimes I take Uncle Ryan's words with a grain of salt. I, I think don't he, know if he was I th- a frat boy. Uh, I, I think he, he was. He on the was national a, he was he team. was a fullback, if I remember right. Right. Yeah. So not a quarterback, not a quarterback coach. That might be a problem. Although I hear we have some some other uh, <sighs> quality guys. Uh, I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said. Uh, Texas had a better team. So there you go. Which uh, great job, Texas! You beat a a one dimensional, borderline offenseless OU team. What felt worse, this game or forty nine to nothing? <sighs> you know, at least with four, I, I I'd say forty nine to nothing. But at least with forty nine to nothing, there was a reason to we had an it. Excuse? Yeah, we had a re there, and people, you, you just you, you, that's also what people have been saying on yeah. Twitter as well. What's our excuse right now? Bad offense. Latrell, that can't. That's not an excuse. That's what we. That's who we hired. That's not an excuse. You know, forty nine to nothing. At least Gabriel was not completely out of the game. You know, I mean, yeah, our team was out of yeah, sync basically. Right. Yeah, this team has been out of. There, at least mm-hmm. our offense has been hasn't even found a sync yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's just like now there are people even questioning about Brent Venables now, and I'm just like. <sighs> Who hired who hired uh, Latrell without going on a search? Yeah, that was a bad idea. Yeah. Um, but I think he can put a football team together because mm-hmm. he, he did last together. year. He he did last year. Mm-hmm. You know, he's like, okay, one six seven, that pretty sucked. Mm-hmm. We're gonna show the world how great we can be again. 
If they and, don't show uh, anything here for the rest of the season, Latrell has to go, or agreed. Venables is basically signing his own death wish. I mean, he's either got to go, and we have to go out and get the best offensive guy available, which OU can get nearly anybody they mm-hmm. want. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. Lincoln Riley ain't doing too hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Would you accept him back with open arms? Uh, Forget the... He cheated on us and was talking to USC behind the scenes. You know, left I, in the middle of the night. You know, I have, you know, I have, I have joked that, uh, I, I have joked that, um, man, if we had that Lincoln Riley offense and that Brent Venables defense, we would be man, ruling the world what, right now. What? What? <laughs> We'd be Alabama right now, but no. Eh, I, I'm one of those guys, I, I prefer to just keep trucking, you know. I'll take him back. May, maybe. I mean, hell, I'd, I'd take him back right now, considering how pitifully we're playing. But, I don't know. I, 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 I'd i like to think there's someone else out there who... There is. Um, Lincoln Raleigh's brother. I mean, get like... It's like getting Bobby Petrino. Poor yeah. poor Arkansas has Bobby Petrino, which... Arkansas. Is doing, they beat Tennessee, but, you know, Petrino, he's... Arkansas bit the bullet on that one, right? They welcomed back that little disaster. Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about... I, I just... I just... I, I've been seeing OU fans complaining and, like, look, I don't want to say what I haven't been saying for the past five weeks, which is that this offense... Oh, Maron, what is going on here? My my 1% Italian is coming out here. Mm-hmm. It's just I, I don't know what to, I don't know what else to say. But Texas, I commend you. I make fun of Sark all the time, but you guys have a pretty good team. Got it rolling. Uh, there are some people who are um, saying they may not make it to the national championship with yours, but uh, I I don't know. I mean, they played Georgia this week. Georgia doesn't look all that great. I think Texas could beat them. I don't. I mean, we'll if see. That happens, I mean. I mean, Texas looks pretty hungry this year from what I saw. Mm-hmm. That could just... And a lot of the people were saying, oh, they're not going to win a national championship with salty OU fans. So, you know, I, I kind of take that with a grain of salt mm-hmm. a little bit. No pun intended. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I pray they don't. <laughs> I, I hope not. Mm-hmm. It's, I'd rather not go through 2006 again. Mm-hmm. Or uh, I don't think I remember when they won the national championship last time. I, uh... I have vague memories of it. I don't want to do a reverse jinx on it, but I, I don't think they're winning the national championship. But, I mean, who's going to beat them? I mean, this, the whole NCAA is down. You know, Alabama and Georgia are not juggernauts this year. It's but, a weird season. It's yeah, been a weird season. I mean, is Oregon? I, I don't believe in Oregon with, with Dylan Gabriel. I mean, they beat Ohio State, but Ohio State's, you know, They've got a good defense, but you know I'm not really sold on them. I mean, who- made some pretty baffling decisions in the last seconds of that yeah. game, which we'll get into. But yeah. to be honest, I don't really want to talk too much more. I I feel like I'd be repeating myself what okay. I've been saying these last like well, couple let's, weeks. Let's talk about and this. also my complaints about the OU fan base, which I've been saying since this show has begun. Oh well. So you know, fans are fans. Do I believe in? Do I still believe in Venables? I do desperately want to. It would really suck if we had to let him go because he seems really invested in making us really good. I, I, uh, I believe in that defense. I um, believe in that defense. I, I do think he needs some better judgment with offensive coordinators, He's though. He's got to. We can't go with Though, this. again, I, I think we're kind of selling Jeff Levy short a little bit. I mean, he made some dumb decisions. I won't go into that. People are going to just... Didn't love Levy. I, I didn't love Levy, but he was... He was he was fine. Like I could deal with them. Yeah, I. Uh, there's there's somebody else out there. There's somebody. Else oh, I'm there. certain. There's somebody else out there. There's a lot of people out there. We can bring in Bill Belichick or something. You know. Oh Jeez. God, yeah. No, I think he's. I think he's. <laughs> Is he defensive? I think. I think he's. I think he was a defensive coordinator. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I think, think he's. Right. I think he's done with uh, <laughs> the uh, coaching. College. Let's talk about this. How was our first OU Texas experience in Florida? Well, it was rainy. About that? Um, actually, I was gonna I was gonna show some uh, footage at the beginning. Okay. So, uh, Pat, over to the right. Oof, Red River's about to start. What are you thinking, Dad? You ready to go? Are you ready? 
<laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dad, what are you thinking? Bleeding jacks. <laughs> It's raining in Florida. We're getting our ass kicked. This is now 49 to nothing. Now, offense, score something. That would be nice. Uh, well, we lost. Shit. Uh, what are you thinking, Dad? Fire everybody, start over. <laughs> At least it's not 49 to nothing, right, Dad? Yeah, much better. Much, much better. 34 3. Okay. Yeah. But how did you enjoy it? I mean, um, I had a really good time. Yeah. Aside the fact it was, it was rainy. rainy as hell rainy. the whole time. It was um, raining. It was raining. So. And then like we we went to a bar called Nick's. It was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Um, you didn't go because right. well, I don't. We, we don't I won't go into that. The whole disaster. <laughs> that, so. Then we went to a place called Flanagan's, and mm -hmm. that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. did, did you bring the food back that I had over there? Uh, no, we ate it. Oh no, you ate it. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. Yeah, we had some good chicken. We don't over fly there. home with food, so. Uh, okay. Um. Well, you want to jump in the middle of this game and get it over oh, with? Jimmy Buffett's. Margaritaville? Yeah. Uh, Margaritaville. Yeah. Uh, cheeseburger in Paradise, indeed, yeah. is all I'll say. Yeah. You like that place? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's good, but, um, good, good chicken strips. Yeah, like. well, yeah no. Um, Florida was fun, though. Yeah. Uh, it was nice. We had a little bungalow by the beach. Mm hmm. It's pretty nice. You like that room? Yeah, it was, it was a nice room. Like the view? Yeah, it was. It was good. As soon as you left, sun came out. I saw that on the <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good time. No, but... Um, time. I'm glad you came down there. And, and me too. flown by yourself there for the first time. How was that? Uh, I was freaky taking off, but once it kind of got going, I yeah. was like, okay. I just I just read the most of the time because the internet and the... They have airplane mode for a reason. Airplane mode wouldn't let me go on the internet. So I was like, yeah. screw this. I'll just read the whole time. You got to kind of figure that out. You should ask. But anyway. So. Uh, All right, you want to jump into this game? As much as I'll ever be, let's and get into to it. To be honest, I don't want to spend much time on it. All right, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, I, it's it's painful to relive it. I yeah, it no. is painful to relive yeah. it. Um, first quarter was great. First quarter was actually pretty good. I'm like, hey, maybe we could actually do something yeah. here. Started out great. Defense was on point. Billy Bowman interception first series. What were you thinking then? I was like, okay, maybe we got something mm -hmm. to work with. Offense. Mm -hmm. We get it the interception. Capitalize. I think we get a first down, maybe two. Have to bring in the kicker. Why? Pretty... Why can we not find a good kicker? Oh, did wait, did he miss it or did yeah, he get Yeah, he the... missed it. Oh, yeah, he did. So we could take momentum right off the bat, and he misses the kick. And Mom was saying, it should have been six to seven. I'm like, should be five. 14 to something. It should be 14 to nothing yeah, if we had an actual an, offense. If we had an actual offense, we could have score a touchdown then. Uh, we go three and out on them again, get the ball back. Can't move the ball. Hold them again, get the ball. And then we finally, you know, move the ball down there and we get a field goal and we end the first quarter three to nothing. They've only got 13 yards of total offense in the first quarter. The great Texas team. Unbeatable. You know, 13 I'm telling, yards. I'm telling you, if we had an offense, this would have been a game. I'm just saying. Would have yeah. been like 2023. Mm -hmm. Now, won or loss, don't know. Mm -hmm. But we'll, it would have been more of a game. Yeah. Then the second quarter, we kick off after the field goal. That's the end of the first quarter. We're up 3 nothing. I turned to you and said, hey, we won a quarter. Yeah. Right? I guess I should have never said that, right? Because then the pain began. Well, they score a touchdown. It's seven to three. All the way, and we're still defense is playing great. You know. Oh, you want to you want to talk about that ridiculous where they run down the field? We get the ball out of their hands, and then they drop on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rivalry game, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got to say about that. That is the like uniquely stupid. Why did this ever happen? Quality That's of. A rivalry game. That's, I hate Texas. I, I know that you have not played football. Not very much. I, right. I've, I've played like flag football with right. friends of mine. 
We've always loved football. Yeah. I played football, but you didn't play. The coach always says, play to the whistle. That means run as hard as you can, play as hard as you can until uh-huh. you hear the... That's yeah. the end of the play. Uh huh. That's what happened. <laughs> Our boy Spears punches the ball out, or it looks like he's being tackled, and the other guys that were right there around him, Stutzman being the first guy right there mm-hmm. near him, they all start slowing down. They don't play to the whistle. Spears Jennings punches the ball out. The Texas guy is playing to the whistle. He just runs and recovers the ball. So you're saying it was loafing. Just, so you said it was just 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 bad play by just mistake by the defense. Yeah, yeah. You got to play to the whistle. You run as hard as you can and knock the ball out of bounds. If they knock the ball out of bounds, it's a touchback. We get the ball at the twenty mm-hmm. yard line. It goes back to the twenty yard line. Mm-hmm. So that you know, just ridiculous there. But with all that being said, it's the little mistakes, man. It's seven to three with like three minutes, four minutes to go in this before halftime. We're right in there, seven to three at halftime. Boom, we're in this thing. Mm-hmm. Figure out a couple plays. Maybe we pick off a pass. Maybe we do the Kip Lewis interception, run it in. I mean, mm-hmm. we're in it, right? Uh-huh. Oh no. Tatum, not Tatum. Uh, uh, Hawkins fumbles right before halftime. It's like it's like poetry, Dad. They it took rhymes. it in on us. Uh, scored another touchdown. Tatum score. Uh, Tatum fumbles. They miss a field goal. Have a penalty. And then they missed again. the field goal again. How, how does that happen? <laughs> Two weeks in a row. How do we get that lucky? We uh, I, I don't know. God is God is hilarious. Yeah. I guess. So it's 21 3 God and just, half. What God you, just loves pranking college football teams. Yeah. We're down 21 3 and a half. In your mind, is there any way we're coming back from that? Um, I was thinking if we actually got ourselves in, if we actually got our act together, as I've been saying for the past few weeks, mm-hmm. maybe. But it didn't. There was just, nothing again, to- uninspired, boring. Poor defense. They just, I mean, they tried. What else are they going to do? Yeah, exactly. You know? So you knew it was over at 21-3? I I don't want to give up on the team, but, well, I went up to the, because I went up to the room, because I was going to do, I was going to just hang out in there and also just watch the game in there, because it was Mm -hmm. getting all rainy. It was raining, yeah. Ah, did I think it was over? Be honest. (sighs) It was looking like it. Okay. <laughs> it was looking like There's it. no nothing in my mind that saw us scoring three touchdowns ever in that game. After I watched that first half, right? Mm-hmm. There's I just that would I mean it was going to have to be total Texas meltdown for us to win that game, uh-huh. right? Fumble, interception, Punt return, something. I mean, it was going to have to be weird stuff that was going to happen. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I knew it was over. Oh, wow. 21-3. Uh, we came back and... It's just a collapse. In the third quarter, we still hold them to three points. I mean, it's 24-3 to three at the end of three. I mean, I know the game's over, but our defense, I mean, I just feel so horrible for Stutzman and Bowman. And yeah, all of our all of our all of our major weapons are out. And I mean, it's just it's just horrible. So. Again, we're just we're just cursed right yeah. now. Though apparently, I've heard whisperings that Nick Anderson might uh might show up, but we'll see how that goes. Mm, okay, when he shows up, I'll say okay, there he is. Until then, I ain't counting on him. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on, Burks. I don't know what's going on with him, Andrew Anthony. What's going on with him? I've heard he's had multiple knee surgeries again. I have no clue, but uh, the guys we got are... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I am I watched the Venables show the other night. Yeah, I, I saw some people were ripping on, on Venables the other day at like mm-hmm. a press conference. Yeah, he's griping about the defense. Defense is fine. Put an offense out there. But... Uh, I I mean I me and Ryan talked about it. I'm like I don't know. Maybe he's I don't know. I can't read the dude's mind. Maybe he's you know maybe he's frustrated about it, but he doesn't really like 
like imagine if he melted down on TV. How, how would that look? You know, yeah. you gotta you gotta have that um, PR politics thing going. Defensive is what he knows and what he's you know comfortable speaking about. So anyway, uh, comparing it to the forty nine to nothing game, I'm kind of with you. I mean, I just feel like we had an excuse in that forty nine to nothing game, and we don't have an excuse right now other than. Basically, our whole offense is wrecked. I mean, I guess injuries, but I don't know. Uh, I have a few questions for you. All right. What? Well, what are they? Because I think you asked me a question, and maybe you're going to play it here uh, on the video, but should we have brought Jackson Arnold in in the second half and tried something? Uh... I mean, I understand that that Hawkins has the legs. But they had two spies on him. They were not going to let him win the game. He was going to have to throw it. And he can't throw it good enough yet. He just doesn't have the timing down. I I, I probably should. I, I would have, personally, in that situation. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe have, like, a, a switch out. Maybe if Jackson's struggling, we could put yeah, Mike Hawkins something. in. And then when Hawkins is struggling, put Arnold in. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure... Venables is just as stressed out about it as we are. And hell, we're the we're the fans. You, you you can't. I don't know if they're. I mean, they've already irritated Jackson. I'm sure he's probably gone. I mean, at the end of the year, and then, you know, well, if you pull Hawkins out, then he's maybe he's upset. Maybe both of them are gone. I don't know. Maybe they're scared. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, they have a they have a crap offense, we like the offensive fan line, are like paying for this. We're paying the tickets. We're watching the TV. We're supporting the team, buying the merch. We have... I'm not... No time. We have... The Sooners have an obligation to try and make us happy. That's my opinion. Can't be babysitting these guys. I think they should have brought Jackson in. Like you said, if he comes in, plays a series, does nothing, okay, bring Hawkins in. He does nothing, okay, bring Jackson and see if somebody gets hot and does something, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, and then both of them are playing. I don't know. So if they're saving Jackson for a red shirt year and then he's going to transfer and have three years, and we're, I mean, that's not our responsibility. He signed up to play football at Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. So play football at Oklahoma. But if they're saving him for that, I don't know that that's true at all. I know nothing about it. Yeah, I've heard whispers about that. I, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know, but if that's what's going on, then shame on them. He, he came here to play football, put him in to play football, because he might catch fire. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 he has a great career. You know, I mean, you never know. So, anyway. Troy Eggman strolled when he first went to the Cowboys. Yeah, he's so. 1-15. Yeah. You know, they got to give the guy a chance, right? Uh, second question. Should Latrell be fired? Part B to that question, should they even have let him on the bus? Should he have had to walk home from Dallas? Where are you at with Latrell? You got any faith in him whatsoever? I am just, I'm kind of tired of his, I mean, let me just say, uh, I mean, I'm sure it hurts with your five big weapons out of, for the season yeah. at the moment. Mm-hmm. But this dude, rather it be because he's new at it or just plain incompetence, uninspired play, when plays start working, he doesn't capitalize on those plays. Doesn't go back to them, right? He, he, doesn't, he doesn't capitalize mm-hmm. on that moment. Mm-hmm. Like, there were the short passes. They were working. Mm-hmm. Keep doing that. Yeah. Maybe not, you know, do it all the time because mm-hmm. then the – you know, defense will probably catch mm-hmm. up to it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, don't just run it up the middle every time. Mm-hmm. Mix it up a little bit. I hate saying this. I'm not a coordinator. Right, obviously. We're but, not. like, I mean, we're just Football fans minds, here. Right? We're, yeah. You know, we're, we're just fans. You know, I, we, I've watched the game for a long time. I didn't understand where they were pulling the lineman out this way and then handing the ball off that way and, like, that was going to fool anybody. I didn't understand that concept. I didn't understand maybe, if that's what he came up with in maybe the bye week. Maybe it's both. Maybe it is just he's new, and also the offensive weapons are just just they're just you know the offensive line's bad, mm-hmm. and also you know all of our offensive weapons are kind of hurt at the moment. Mm-hmm. Well, I've heard I've heard whisperings about Nick Anderson and Dion Burks maybe coming back, but I'd like to see it happen. <sighs> 
I, I don't, and I mean, hey, there are some talented people. Like, Petaway is okay. Like, he was doing okay his couple of those games. Mm-hmm. I, I, he has potential, is what I'm saying. Yeah, one of the Zions had three or four catches this week, so there seems to be a guy show up. Bauer Sharp is also pretty good, but... Mm-hmm. Did he do anything in the game? I mean, he had a couple of catches, so I didn't and want to like, go through the stats. Like, so. You know, and uh, Hawkins' problem, he's like Johnny Manziel. Dude likes to freaking run around mm-hmm. the pocket. He doesn't like to sit and just shoot mm-hmm. it, you know? Mm-hmm. Which, rather that's because I don't, I don't think he's like Johnny Manziel, hopefully, because that would be pretty embarrassing. But, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's just new. It's just the new system he's James in. faster in college. That's true. Um, he's still new. He's got a lot of talent. He's a true freshman. And, he's- hey, that's good. He was and, at his prom last uh, May, so you know. That, oh, that's true. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't recognize. Yeah. I feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like Hawkins has some issues, but I can I could probably put a lot of those to just he's new. He's still figuring it out. He's mm-hmm. talented, but he hasn't like you know played too much yet. Mm-hmm. Which you know, that's not really a cardinal sin. I, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, Jackson probably this you know I mean he's not technically new, but. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have a lot to work with, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, um, but anyway, what was your question? Oh, yeah, Latrell. Um, <clears throat> I, I have said he probably should be fired because, again, his ineptitude is absolutely astounding. I, I mean, I wasn't alive during the John Blake era, but uh, w- w- would you say the offense was uh, John Blake tier? No. No? It's better than John Blake tier. Better. It, it, John Blake funny. here was a circus. <laughs> okay. Absolute circus. They had no. I don't. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> there were people who were. Comp- but now, what I, was I thought it was a little. Was, I, I thought it was a little ridiculous, but there were people comparing it to John Blake last. Last well, week. we're always going to go, oh, no, it's not the John Blake era. No, we're not even close to the John Blake era. Okay, that's good. That was like nobody even knew what was going on. <laughs> it was a total clown show. <laughs> the thing about it was the next year Bob Stoops came in and it was all straightened out. Same players. Yeah, I heard like John Blake was a good recruiter. Yeah, he was a good recruiter. Couldn't coach a lick. <laughs> but right? like he was good at recruiting people, though. Okay, like well, He got like Roy Williams right. and and like who who else did he get? I couple. Yeah. Didn't he get? Didn't he get Heupel? No, uh, no. Uh, I must be Le- mistaken. Leach got Heupel. Oh, Leach got Heupel. Leach okay. got Heupel. So um, that was one thing they didn't have a quarterback back then. But uh, um, but he got a couple. Pl- I know he got Roy Williams for sure. Yeah, I don't know had, who else. Yeah, he had some players. He had some players, um, but they, he had no structure and just no like scheme. It just it was just like with Brent. T- it's kind of like he has structure on the defense, right. but the offense he's been you know mm-hmm. That's again what me. from from you know. Just, I mean, ineptitude to new players to just plain old bad luck. That's what gives me hope is because, just like I said, Bob Stoop came in the next year, straightened the whole mess out. We went 7-5, and five, but we led in every game that year in 99. We could have won every single game, right? Mm-hmm. We lost five very close games. Then the very next year, we win the national championship. Uh-huh. After John Blake, two years after John Blake. So my point is... If Venables will hire an offensive guy and, who knows what he's doing, get out of the way. You do the defense. You and and Allie do the defense. Uh-huh. Let this guy do the offense. If that means firing Demarco, Bedenbow, the whole team, and bringing in his own guys, I don't care. It's your thing, guy. Go make us good. If he does that, we have a chance. Mm-hmm. But if he sticks around and does the loyalty thing, because because Latrell played at OU on the national championship team, okay, You're not really getting anywhere. That could cost him his own job. Mm-hmm. And that's my last question: Do we have faith in Brent Venables? Is he going to do the right thing? I I will only say right now I hope so. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the if it hasn't smacked him in the face that mm-hmm. this isn't working. And he, I don't think he's a stupid man by any means. No. Um, he's a great football coach. Uh, I mean, he put together. I mean, I mean, we lost to Kansas in Oklahoma State. That was pretty frustrating. But he put together a pretty good football team last year, and even in twenty twenty two, we were a solid team. Mm-hmm. 
we weren't a lot of people were saying we're terrible but we were terrible that year but i, I mean let me be honest we were okay we weren't mm-hmm. you know it wasn't like purdue which is like a clown show over there if we had this year's defense last year we had a we, good defense last year too yeah but we have a better defense this year uh-huh and we had a really you know we had a good offense last year. I yeah, mean, we had, we had I know, a good offense. I know Levy irritated us, but we have this year's defense. We definitely beat OSU. Mm-hmm. Um, we definitely beat Arizona. Because mm-hmm. that was a, you know, just debacle there at the end. Yeah. And then who else did we lose to last year? K-State? Who'd we Kansas. Lose? Oh, Kansas beat us? Yeah. Remember? Kansas beat us? Oh, my God. Goodness, yeah, we don't lose to Kansas with this defense. <laughs> I mean, we could have we could have made it to the playoff last year if we had this defense and then last year's offense. So it was, um, yeah, um, I think bad luck really did us in last year. But yeah, well, I'm just hoping. Um, I mean, now, if he keeps up with, now if he, for some baffling reason, keeps Latrell on, then yeah, I'm like, it would be a different conversation. Mm-hmm. But I, again, I don't think Venables is a stupid man. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, um, I, I do think it would. I, I hate saying this. I'm probably going to get flack for this, but if you fire Latrell now, what the hell are we going to do? Yeah, you know? there's no sense in firing him midseason. I mean, look, he's doing badly. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm not making excuses at all. Mm-hmm. But and I'm tired I'm, of hearing I, him I, saying I, I, it. It all starts with me. Oh, we already know that. It starts with you. You're the boss. It starts with you. We know that. <laughs> Don't say it anymore. Put a better product on the field. It starts with you. We know. <laughs> we need to. We need to get you on and get him into shape. No, but um, no, but um. And I, on. for Venables, I mean, I appreciate loyalty. I've been married thirty-one years. Happy anniversary, honey. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why we went ago. to Florida in the first place. Yeah, it was, it was I appreciate ago. loyalty. But this said marriage. This is football. Mm-hmm. You can't get it done. You're gone. That's it. No yeah, loyalty. If I, I would definitely think he he would and he should let go of Latrell by the end mm-hmm. of the season because my God, this is a clown show. Right? Would that be a Lincoln Riley move? Reverse style? What do you mean? Like, you know, everything was going pretty good. We thought Lincoln was going to be around forever, and he sneaks out in the middle of the night. And oh, then I don't, the I don't think... The opposite of that. Oh, we don't have any loyalty either. Goodbye to you after one year. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, if you're not... You just said, if you're not getting the job done, get out of here. It's... 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 It's business. Yeah. What Lincoln did, that was just some, like, Bobby Petrino type of going <laughs> full circle here. It was him being like, oh, I'm not going to LSU. See you later. Uh-huh. Going to California. Uh-huh. You yeah, know? Yeah, it's just, no. No, but, like, I just... Right. I, I've, now, rather, this is because he's a new head coach still. I mean, it's three years. I mean, come on. But, like, come on, Brent. Do better. I, I, I know you can put together a good football team. I saw you do it last year. And look, I'm frustrated we lost to Kansas and Oklahoma State last year. We were at Big 12, too. Mm-hmm. But it was a good team. I know you can do it. Mm-hmm. Just, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think more outside the box, I guess. If we let this thing linger for too long, though, we can find ourselves in a John Blake, Nebraska like funk. That's with an N. I, Funk. Um, yeah, I, I know. I, I heard you. Okay. Just wanted to make sure the fans heard that. So. Heard you. Uh, half the season's over, my friend. I can't believe it. Till the next. We're playing South Carolina, who is a scrappy team. I have to say, they were they were playing Alabama pretty tough, which is why I think if we play our cards right, we could beat Alabama. Okay, let's don't even get to Alabama. <laughs> Let's worry about this week against South Carolina. We've um, got what? What are we right? A four and two, so we got what? Another six games. Uh-huh. We have to win two to get to a bowl game. We're gonna beat Maine. Mm-hmm. We have to win one game. If we win this one game right here, 
All the pressure's off. We're going to a bowl game. I think we have the second longest streak in America for consecutive bowl games right now. Huh. Okay? Oh. Okay. I do not know this. We don't want to lose that. I, I because know. Because when you lose and you don't go to a bowl game, guess where you start at? Zero years. Ah. Uh-huh. You know, we're at like 20, well, whatever, how long I... it's been since Bob Stoops was here. 25 years. Hey, almost yeah. 25 years. 99. You're 20, yeah, it's 25-ish years coming on. So um... this is the make or break game, in my opinion, of our season. Okay? Mm-hmm. South Carolina, I already had that penciled in. We both had that penciled in as a win at the first of the year. Uh-huh. We had no clue South Carolina was going to be as good as they are. And they're 3-3. Three and three. Their record is worse than ours. And a couple of those games, I will admit, they got screwed over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, th- let's just think of the South Carolina-Alabama game, which I did watch, by mm-hmm. the way. Because there wasn't really a lot to do out in Florida. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was it was good in Florida, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They get an onside kick. Right. They get the ball. And then he throws an interception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, okay, that's just bad luck is what I'm giving that to. It was but, amazing for them to even have gotten that uh, yeah, onside kick. Yeah, that was ridiculous. But um, so let's talk- I do think they are beatable. Right. We just have to, one, keep them contained because that quarterback's pretty pretty scrappy. And our offense needs a score. Just just do that. Yeah, I, don't, I can't even imagine how we're going to do that. Because, I mean, running Hawkins every play is not going to do no, you much you good. You can't take off a runner. These, these guys are fast. You can't outrun them. This isn't a high school kid. They beat Kentucky 31-6. to Dominated Kentucky. Oh, wow. Now, and, they beat, Kentucky, and, they, and, they, and they beat Ole Miss. Kentucky beat Ole Miss, and they lost to Georgia by one. Am I right about yeah. that? So yeah. That's not a... Bad Kentucky team. That this South Carolina team that's getting ready to come to Norman, we're getting ready to play them. They lost to LSU thirty six to thirty three. Remember that? That was a oh, nail yeah, biter. That was a, that was a crazy. That was a game. great game, right? They could have won it easily. Mm-hmm. They lose to Bama, the one we're just talking about right now. Could have won that game. Mm-hmm. This team could be basically undefeated or with one loss, right? Mm-hmm. And now they're coming to Norman. Got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Have they seen us on tape? We're horrible on yeah. offense. Yeah. If they're if their offense can score a touchdown, they probably win the game. If they scored two, it it might be over. Um, I don't so. know if they're as good as Texas though. They're not as good as Texas, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you don't have to be as good as Texas. To beat this offense, right? Yeah. You just got to score one or two touchdowns, and we can't do anything. And then it, they could win the game. So I hope because it's home, or I mean, our our fans. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some way we can win this game. Remember, I was feeling the same way against Tulane, though. Remember, I was like, yeah. "How in the world are we going to beat Tulane?" And we did. We beat them. You know. And so. the offense was actually doing okay there for that first uh, half. Who was quarterback in that game? Jackson Arnold. Put Jackson back in. Is that what you're saying? Got to put Jackson <laughs> back in. Got yeah, to no, that would that would be that be that be a good choice. Uh, they got a defense offense. I was watching the Bent Riddle show. He's and he, you know, he uh, was coaching at Clemson, which is in South Carolina. Oh yeah, so that's they right. had a rivalry game, kind of like the OU OSU Bedlam, blah blah blah. He uh-huh. Played South Carolina every year. He said this is the best South Carolina defense that he's seen in the ten years he coached out there. Not good. Not good at all. My question to you, can we win? <sighs> Frankly, I don't know. It's one of those, if we play our cards right, leave it up to fate, we could do it. But I'm not sure. This younger generation. I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? We're going to lose? I want you to say yes. We're going to win the yes. game. Okay. Yes, we we should win. When I ask the cousins, who's your favorite uncle? Oh, I can't decide. Oh, Uncle Jason, you... No. I'm your favorite uncle. I need a. I need some commitment here. Can we win the game? All right. Yes, we can win the game. All right. There we go. I'm not saying it's unwinnable. All right. You want me to say we're gonna lose? No. Okay. There you go. I'd have to punch you if you said that. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> uh, let's right. talk about some other games. My All God, right, this, this is killing this. me. 
And yeah, I was in Florida. Was I watching football? Not really. I, I was watching more football than you were. Yeah, I was in Florida. <laughs> I'm, am I going to watch football? Were, me and me and my actually all of us went to the casino. Yeah. When uh, we had to go see the casino. When, when what it was, it was a nice do? casino. What did we have to go to the casino? Uh, Oregon and, and Ohio State game was on. Yeah. So I watched the end of that. So I didn't watch a lot of football there. So let's talk about some games that I didn't watch. Uh-huh. I don't know if you saw anything. Um, Tennessee 23, Florida 17. Wasn't this the juggernaut Florida team? What happened? Or uh, Tennessee team? I, I, maybe they might win the national championship, and Florida can't. Are they? Are they? Did they? Are they still down after losing to Arkansas? I, I don't know. I don't know. But there's a surprising this, score. Yeah. Big SEC. Just it's been don't straight, know. It's been right. straight up chaos this mm-hmm. whole year. <laughs> How about this one? Georgia forty-one, Mississippi State thirty-one. What? I thought they were killing them when I saw. Um, I, I guess Levy's finally getting his act together over there. Maybe oh. it was a typo. Maybe it was a typo. Uh, LSU 29, Ole Miss 26. Weren't they supposed to be world beaters also? I'm talking um, about Ole Miss here. Oh, I was about to say, well, o- Ole Miss is pretty good. And didn't so. I tell you LSU would be on the rise? I was uh-huh. scared about this, right? Uh-huh. They would lose that first game, remember? And uh-huh. then they'd come back and be on the rise. Here they come. Watch uh-huh. out for LSU. Well, 29-26, uh, I wouldn't call that a beatdown. They beat Ole Miss. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's that lane, a top that lane, 10 team. That Lane Giffen team's pretty good. Kiffin. Kiffin, sorry. Here's one that finally some good news. Penn State, 33. USC, 30. That was pretty nice. I like that one. That's that was pretty nice. I like that one. Uh I was pretty I didn't really watch that game, but it sounded pretty it sounded pretty crazy a, from I the, didn't see a play of the game. So <laughs> Uh, how about this one, which was a really surprise to me. Oregon 32, Ohio State 31. I saw the last of that game while we were at that casino yeah. while we were talking about. Yeah. Um, Ohio State, they were getting up there. Mm-hmm. And then he pulls a Dak Prescott, the quarterback, slides, and it goes to zero. Yeah, I heard about that. What Which a, was just, that was just a... just move. That was a just head... Just that yeah. was a face palm and then moment. The coach there, that, which we could have had Lanning, Dan Lanning. Yeah, he's pretty he good. He puts twelve men on the field, uh huh, so that they can't get beat deep. They get a penalty. Oh, yeah. But the clock runs down to like four seconds, so now it's a it's a hail mary type situation, and then they don't com- or then they do that play right there. Yeah, and you're just like, slides. what? And so there's a little controversy about that, and then they asked him about it, and he was giving him the old, uh, we practice a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of coach I want right there. <laughs> Go for the throat. <laughs> Forget the rules. <laughs> then K-State 31 and Prime, Coach Prime 28, he just can't quite get, get, can't quite get over the hump. And then his sons are going to graduate. Poor, I mean, poor guy. I mean, poor that poor team. It, like, they had a touchdown. I watched a little bit of that game. They got a touchdown. It looked like they were about to win the game. And then they just run it right back on him. I'm just like, guys, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh-huh. Anyway. All right, this week we're going to start here in the SEC. I didn't see a bunch of games. Obviously, our game's the most important to us. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's an 11.45 kickoff. They gave us an extra 45 minutes of sleep there. Um, I don't even know where it's on at. It's probably on the SEC channel or maybe on ESPN+. Plus. We fall, we're we out of the top 25, by the way, also. We're like uh, number 28. Vanderbilt is rated ahead of us. Uh, talk about a worse start to the SEC. Boy, Damn. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, we got Mississippi versus Auburn. So you, you Ole Miss. There. Ole Miss versus Auburn. You got you to gotta lean there. Yeah, I'd say Ole Miss has it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Here's a good one. Alabama versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Ah, man, that's tough. I yeah. I mean, I'd say Tennessee has it because, mm-hmm. like, let me tell you, Auburn has been exposed this last couple of weeks. Alabama? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How the hell they're number, they were number seven after that embarrassment at mm-hmm. Vanderbilt? Mm-hmm. Beyond me. Mm-hmm. They should be 18, right? They should have mm-hmm. been where we were at. Mm-hmm. If the world were a mm-hmm. fairer place. And I'm not just saying this because I have that Alabama haterade. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. And as, that- as you like to say, I'm just saying. 
We have uh, that everybody's against us OU <laughs> uh, monkey on our back. Kind of, yes. Mm. Uh, there is that as I'm well. I'm going to lean. I'm going to lean. Uh, I'm going to lean Tennessee. Yeah, I'm, I'm, They're I'm, not the Nick Saban Alabama Crimson Tide. That fan base, you heard the guy I sent that to you. <laughs> yes. We was... don't lose to Vandy. Yeah. The boar. <laughs> They're going to run him out of there. I'll tell you. Oh, right man. Now. No, it's. Uh... Yeah, it's basically bleeding animal pounce now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Though, hey, don't underestimate them. They're pretty dangerous. They beat Georgia. But then again, um, Georgia's kind of being weird, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> A&M, Mississippi State. I no, I, have, I haven't watched much of that. A&M's looking solid. I'm going A&M on this one. All right. Sorry, Libby. LSU at Arkansas. Dang, that's hard. Arkansas is a pretty good team. They're pretty decent. Petrino's got that. He can turn that offense around. They can turn. I'm on not that quite t- desperate yet, where we might need t- Petrino, but yeah. They actually, don't get Petrino. I don't want the headaches of dealing with him and his shenanigans. Okay. Anyway, I'm f- yeah. God, I need to stop talking about Petrino. Um, I would say LSU. I hate to say it, but hey, lean. Arkansas, they're pissed off. They want to punch some people in the mouth. So mm, I'm gonna lean they beat LSU. the nu- they beat the number four team in the nation. Mm-hmm. That is hardly an unimpressive feat. SEC. They, I mean, they were trying to lose that game, but they still won. SEC. Yeah. SEC. SEC went out of their way. Is like, all right, we're going to just make Oklahoma suffer as much as possible. And then the game of the week... Georgia Bulldogs, Texas Longhorns. I hope Georgia beats them. I'm still mad about the loss. So what was that song, Pat? Uh, Pat, you sing. Who's that coming down? Oh God, Who's yeah. That coming down? <laughs> I can't remember it. Uh, little brother versus BYU, a hot BYU team. BYU's rated number thirteen. BYU's going to smoke them. I, I mean, agree. good Lord, if you thought our team's looking bad. At least we have a defense. OSU mm-hmm. just looks like a clown show Both right sides now. of the ball. I mean... Both sides, they're looking terrible. Yeah. yeah. Though, that's what I've seen. Mm-hmm. Like, West Virginia was mm-hmm. mocking them. Gundy going to survive? <sighs> At this rate, I don't know. He might not. They might say, look, Gundy, we love you. You've done a lot of good for us, but we're going to have to let you in. Winning as coach in uh, Oklahoma State history. Might have to retire, my friend. We'll see. Four-year starter. They kicking him out of town? I have no... I wouldn't think so. Hmm. Either that or... Either they're going to shock the world and fire him, or he's just going to be like, you know what? I'm going to retire. Or... Am I retire? I, he's, he's done. Wish you shouldn't get too get 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 their chin too far over their skis on this one. Yeah, Gundy knows what he's doing. He's having a down year, but uh, I think they're needing a quarterback also. And then Nebraska, this you know this game right here. Now Indiana is rated. Really? Yeah. Talk about chaos this year. But Nebraska, oh. you know. I'm kind of leaning. I think the Cornhuskers might do something here. What are you thinking? Can they beat Indiana? I think so. They have a pretty good team, actually, yeah. this year. I mean, they I smoked think... uh, uh, Colorado, so I, I don't know. I think Matt Rule maybe have something going on down there. But I think they could win because um, Matt Rule, man, he's he's good at turning college programs mm-hmm. around. I mean, mm-hmm. after the Art Bryles debacle at Baylor, he went back over there and was mm-hmm. like, turn it around and turn him into a pretty good football team again. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this after I grew up here in the state of Oklahoma, but I'm I'm rooting for Nebraska. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, Time's like changed. we should have, you know, we we would love nothing more than a competitive OU Nebraska mm-hmm. again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Even though I don't know the next time we're ever gonna play Nebraska. I'll never root for Texas. No, no, never. It's not happening. Okay, so the NFL, same story. I was on the beach. I watched a couple of the games, though. Didn't pay attention to the um, games. Watched the Think first... Think you were doing a stream. Think I, you were doing a podcast, I, I something. Did. Waiting on your flight. Uh-huh. Let's first talk, and maybe you can tell the fans about the debacle of you getting home. How was that? Remember? Oh, um, well... You had, to, you had to catch a flight. Uh, you had to catch a flight. Yeah, caught a, caught a flight, went out there, and then it took about 
20 minutes, or then I had to go over there. Well, uh, apparently it was going to take off after, what was it, like 20, 45 minutes? Mm-hmm, you had about 45 minutes 40, in between flights. Yeah. And then so, your flight was delayed. Yeah, so we were sitting there, and I was getting all nervous. Right. And then they took off. I'm like, okay. And they're well, like, oh, on, well. Hang on, hang on. You're missing the part of the story sorry. I want to talk about. Oh, sorry. What did you want Remember to talk I, about? Remember, they changed the gate on you. Uh-huh. I was watching it. I uh-huh. I'll let you know there was a gate change, right? Mm-hmm. Then I want to talk about the text you sent me. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, you mean when I got home? No. When you got over there to the other gate. Oh. Uh, I was like, what was it? I barely made it. No, or... a little stronger than that. Oh. Or I think it was you, son of a bitch. I That's made it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. I was I was coughing my lungs out, man. I'm, uh-huh. And then I'm like, geez, I gotta work out more. But anyway, uh, yeah, anyway. I had to I had to run over there. Yeah. And I, I was telling Lisa, I'm, like, I'm gonna rip Dad a new one when, uh-huh. I, when he gets home. And he's like, well. There were delays. That wasn't his fault. I'm like, all right, final. Uh-huh. I'll let you off, Dad. Yeah. Who bought the ticket for you to get there and get back? Yeah, you did. All right. And then I got home and I said the Eagle has landed, and That's you thought true. that was pretty funny. Yeah, I did think. That. <laughs> and then you landed and were like, Eagle Two has landed. <laughs> so true. there you go. And full circle. All right, all right. Let's get back to the. Let's get back to this. So uh, starts right off at the Lions, forty-seven, Cowboys nine. I mean. I'm I'm just I'm just not having a good time this season. Are we cursed this year? Or what you and I personally? I mean, this is our teams are do not you, doing do, well. Do you, do you like the Cowboys? I like them. Yeah, I mean they got C.D. Lamb on there. No, oh, that's true. They do have C.D. But they barely been using him the last couple yeah. weeks, or either that or they're just like screw it. I knew they were in trouble when they paid Dak all that money. He's not. He's not the top quarterback in the league. He's you know? good, He's but good. He's not fifty million a year. Good. No, yeah, that's true, but. Um, yeah, my friend, who is a Lions fan, we were texting back and forth, mm-hmm. and I mean, he was just spitting straight facts. I was like, bro, I, I, I can't even, I just let him talk. I didn't know what else to say. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Cowboys are just sucking right now. <laughs> some, some, sometimes you just have to bend over and take the, the spanking. Yeah, pretty right? much, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, he wasn't like, he wasn't like, you know, talking trash or nothing. Right. He was just like, bro, your team is just bad. <laughs> And I'm like, fact. I mean, that's just a fact. They're just terrible. I mean, I don't know if they're terrible, but they're just not good this year. When the owner makes a bumblehead move like paying Dak Prescott fifty-one million dollars, love you, Jerry. Bad things are gonna happen. <laughs> oh, everyone that's wants you to bite go down. Back. That bad decision will bite back. I don't know what he. I don't know. Maybe he's got pictures of Jerry in some compromising situations or something. I don't know why he would have paid him fifty-one million. Could have had Baker Mayfield for half that, right? Yeah. Uh, Bears, Caleb Williams, 35. The Jaguars, 16. The Bears are 4-2. and two. Those, oh. How is this happening? I was about to say, those poor Jags. Jags were in the playoffs, what, last year or the year before last? I mean, they weren't even that good, but they beat, like, the, I think it was the Chargers? Yeah. And then everyone was like, get rid of Stan, or what was that dude's name? Stanley? Staley. Staley, that guy. Yeah. He was the Chargers guy. And then they got Jim Harbaugh, because mm-hmm. he's like, well, I won a national championship. I did my job. I'm going to go back no to pros. the NFL. Because mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> he did pretty good with the 49ers for a few years. One of the crazier games, I and I did watch this game. Uh, so the Buccaneers go up Seventeen to nothing. I was about to say I watched this game. This was twenty to nothing. That first half like was that. nuts. All of a sudden, I look That's up nuts. and the Saints are ahead, 24-23. Oh yeah, Baker was throwing dimes to sudden, the other team. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Baker turned it around and, uh, and and they went fifty-one to twenty-seven over Spencer Rattler. Yeah, who's now on the Saints and uh, he did okay. Yeah, he looks okay. But again, they're kind of rebuilding after the Sean Payton, Drew Brees era, mm-hmm. and, and maybe the game's a little quick for him too. You know, and I mean, uh, like uh, likes going on with Hawkins. So uh, and then a nice game: the Bills twenty-three, the Jets twenty. 
Oh, I heard ref ball all day during that game. They were throwing mm-hmm. flags like candy, mm-hmm. from what I've heard. Mm-hmm. Is, is, can you confirm this, Dad? I confirm it, yes. <laughs> were you watching it on the beach? Uh, I was watching it on the beach, yeah. <laughs> they, apparently 22 flags, which is apparently an obscene amount of flags. you got to get all your linemen up on the on the line this year. They're calling that this year. So. <laughs> Just, uh, then, just like like bunch of roughing the quarterback calls. Mm-hmm. I'm like, good lord, man. And then right after that, the Jets trade for Devonte Adams, who used to play with Rodgers at Green Bay. Yeah, he was angry. He was he was had enough with the Raiders. Mm-hmm. So you think that's going to make a difference? Is that going to turn the Jets around here? One 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 uh, wide receiver, is that going to do it? I mean, it could turn them into a respectable team. Devontae's but, a good, good, good player. But Jets are one of those teams, kind of like the Vikings. Well, Vikings are actually doing pretty good. But I won't get ahead of myself. Mm-hmm. But they're one of those teams just like the Browns. They just love shooting themselves in the foot. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, they'll have a solid team. Like, a few years ago, they had a pretty good defense and a pretty okay offense, and then they just screwed that up. It's just, ugh, you know? Can't, mm-hmm. I can't say much more. Okay, like some predictions here on this week's games. Mm-hmm. None of this riding the fence. Okay, fine. I want, I want you to just go ahead and commit. If you if you if you miss, that's why we don't gamble. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine. Lions looking hot versus undefeated Vikings. Ooh, I don't Lions know. roaring. Viking that Vikings kind of. Sorry, Brian Bell, if you watch this, he's a booktuber I'm I'm friendly with. He's a Vikings fan. Mm-hmm. Uh this Vikings run seems kind of fluky to me. Mm-hmm. Um. Good team. Looks like they're a good team. Right. But uh, I don't think they're going to be like a juggernaut. So okay. I'm saying the Lions have okay. it. All right. Got Lions. You down. Got you down for the Lions. I'm going Lions also. Uh, here's a pretty big game that I'm surprised not Monday night game, not a Sunday night game. Chiefs Niners. That sounds like the Super Bowl. Chiefs. Well, it was the Super Bowl, actually, mm-hmm. last year. Uh, Chiefs. You going Chiefs? Yeah. I mean, you know, I said last year 49ers are going to beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl because they have the better team. Mm-hmm. And then, what do you know? Mahomes, that dude is a magician. That's all I got to say. That man has magical powers. He is I, a magician. Because they, Chiefs were looking rough. Not mm-hmm. like, you know, bad. Because, like, you know, Andy Reid can't coach a bad team to save his life. But they were looking pretty rough out there, you know. I'm like, I thought the 49ers were going to pounce. I thought they were going to take them on with that, you know, good offense that they had and that pretty good D. Had a pretty complete team. But no, Patrick Mahomes is literally Tom Brady now. Mm-hmm. We got to just accept it. That man just, ugh, I don't know what was going on. He has magical powers. Yeah. That's all I got to say. It's not the playoffs. I'm going it's, Niners. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying. Or, oh, you're going Niners. I'm going Niners. They're beat up though. I'm going Niners. Okay, fine. Go for the <laughs> Niners. <laughs> that one's for my boss. He's, <laughs> he's going to be at the game. He's a big Niners fan, so getting a little love in for the bonus this year. Hey, I need my bonus. <laughs> Well, hopefully he won't give you a Jelly of the Month club. Yeah, uh, he may be giving that, probably. <laughs> uh, Bucks versus Ravens. I would say, I, I hate to say this because I like Baker, but um, I would say the Ravens would win because they have a better team. Mm-hmm. But, hey, Baker, prove me wrong. I want Baker. I'm good right, for Baker. All right, all right. Uh, Chargers versus the Cardinals, another Monday night game. I'm going to say go Kyler, but what are we thinking? Harbaugh, <sighs> he got Kyler's number. I'd say Chargers. I haven't really yeah. watched the Cardinals, and yeah. I haven't really watched the Cardinals much, and I haven't really watched the Chargers mm-hmm. much either, but Chargers seem to have, like, a more complete team. Uh, Kyler's just kind of, like, most of the Cardinals is just, okay, let's let uh, Kyler run around for a little bit until he finds a guy. Don't they have Marvin Harrison Jr. on that team? Yes. I think well, he may be hurt. I'm not sure. I think he is hurt. Yeah. I'll go with Chargers. Okay, Sorry, and Kyler. Then, uh, the Browns already blew out the Saints last night. We're, we're filming this a little later than we typically do. Cars hurt. We got Rattler starting. That Broncos got pretty good defense. If they can get that <sighs> Sean Payton offense going, their defense is there. I don't know. They just need to get that offense going. It's kind of like us. Yeah, and they've got that uh, quarterback. Uh, Who did he play for? Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Uh, he was with uh, Oregon. Was he Oregon now. He was with Oregon. He was, he was right. a duck. 
Yeah, so he if he the gets ferocious his, ducks. If he gets his stuff together, then uh, I think they might be a team this year. Then we got the Jets and the Steelers on Sunday night. The Jets with Devontae Adams. Are they going to pull that out, or you got the Steelers? <sighs> Let me think. I I would say the Jets. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll, I'll I'll go with the Jets. Okay. But. I don't know. <laughs> Those two flip teams are... It's a flip a coin game. I got you down for the Jets. Jets, yeah. But write, right. the, write the Jets down. Well, this is it. This is make or break, son. I think this is, I think this is the game that's going to tell the story for the rest of the year for us, for the OU Sooners. When we win this game, we know we're going to have a bowl game. Uh-huh. Okay, that uh-huh. takes all the pressure off. Uh-huh. Right now, everybody's like, "Oh, we might not make a ball." A lot of pressure on. We I believe in game. our team, Dad. I think we can do it. Okay, we if win we this game. I think we're going to beat Maine. I think we could beat Missouri. I think we could upset a Bama, like you're talking about. LSU, probably not. Not going down there and winning that game. Um, Though next year, all Miss, maybe I doubt we it. sneak in. Probably not. Their offense is way too hot for our offense. Can't keep up. But anyway, I think we could beat. I we could we, salvage this season. We could if, salvage, but this is the week. We lose this one. Oh, my goodness. We lose this one. The thing, the whole, the whole thing may blow up if we lose this one. So I hope that's not the case. Well, as I like to say, Dad did not raise a Fairweather fan. Mm-hmm. I'm still a Sooner for life. My dad has thoroughly brainwashed me in the ways of the Sooners, right. as you like to say. Right. Right. <laughs> um, we'll be back, well, on Thursday, actually, because uh, I'm putting this up on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we'll have the next one. So, Well, we can, we can shoot it Thursday. We can shoot it Tuesday like we normally do. And then, you know, you can put this one up. You can do your little editing and do your thing. Put uh-huh. it up on Tuesday. We can still do our show and get back on our normal schedule, right? Yeah, should be. Game plan? Sounds like a game plan. All right. Boomer. This this was my idea. You were kinda you were kinda anyway. I was sooner. To, I was wanting to roll it all into one, right? <laughs> yeah, I was like, hell no. Are you uh-huh. kidding me? Uh-huh. Oh, you Texas, man. Yeah. No, but um yeah. We got it done. Boomer sooner, baby. Alright, let's do it. And this has been yet another episode of Days of Our Sooners. Until next time. <laughs> oh. Uh, Please win this game. Please, Lord.